What's happening, what's happening, what's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy, B-Hop Radio, shout in. Stepping in the building, I got one of the funniest guys in the A-Town off in this thing. Joe, boy, so say what's good with man, it, both? Hey, man, I can't call it b man. It's a privilege to be up here and an honor, man, Same to be up here, man. Here, man. Um, you know, I know you like to give people their, uh, you know, their roses first, but I like to give you yours, man. You got an award. Uh, a few months ago, yeah, did it? Yeah, so congratulations, yeah. man. Appreciate that, man. Shout out that boy Pimpin' Ken, Hip Hop Fraternity, yes, showing some love in this thing, yes, man. Sir. I mean, but basically, you give out a lot of roses in this thing too, so mm-hmm. say. Mm-hmm. I mean, you break it down for the legends and for the people that are, you know, implants that then came in and they don't know what the hell's going on right. in the city. Right. You kind of give them some background about what made this city so damn great, man. So, right. I mean, first of all, tell me what was it that inspired you to break it down and let these folks know what the is really about and why it is what it is today. Mm-hmm. Got you. So, um, roughly a little less than a year ago, man, I had, I got into a car accident, right? I've always been a creative. Yeah. So, I got in a car accident and kind of slowed down some things that I had going. Mm. So, you know, at this time, I'm sitting in the house. I couldn't walk for two months, none of that. So, Nigga, I'm sitting in the house kind of like, damn, what the hell am I going to do like this? Yeah. Figure it out. So, I, uh, I actually had a talk with two of my partners, uh, I Mark, shout out I Mark, and yeah. uh, Young Big Homie. Okay. So, I was talking to Young Big Homie, and he was like, hey, man, look, you just need to find you a niche or a niche, or have you said. Facts. Or a niche. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I would, figure out, figure out something, you know what I'm saying, that people going to relate with yeah. and go with it. Yeah. Man, 10 minutes later, because like I said, my mind go like 10 minutes later, psh, I was doing the first video right about now. old Atlanta. Yeah. Uh, I think the first one I did was uh, five things uh, that you will remember from Atlanta growing up. Give, give me some of them things, though, man. Oh, uh, man, sidetrack. Uh, like, that's my thing. Like, if, if old Atlanta, like, to me, old Atlanta period was between 1990 <laughs> to 2005. So, a certain things, if you did during that time. I got to hit you with something, though, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, when we didn't get a chance to go to sidetrack, we found ourselves at that Harper Planetarium. Man. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was different. Now, one thing I will say about that planetarium, you got in that room with that dog. <laughs> Hey, man, I don't want to say, you know, but a lot of the field trips, you didn't really learn about astrology, man. That come was your on. time to get your freak on. Yeah, you, come on. Man, I'm fine. You know what I'm saying? You know, but that's, that's, that's part of our history. Yeah. You know that. And uh, if you ain't never going to see Willie B, oh, you can't tell God. me nothing about Facts. Oh, that line. Come on now. You, were, you know what I'm saying? You can't tell me nothing. That was the guardian of exactly. Atlanta, man. I tell a lot of people. Um, you know, people say uh, Atlanta changed when BMF came and, mm-hmm. you know, indictments came and this, that, and the other. But when Willoughby died in 2000, man. It was over. That was it. <laughs> that was it. That was the beginning. That was kind of like the beginning of the end yeah. of the old Atlanta for us. Man. When you think about that old Atlanta, though, man, what are some of the things that stand out in your mind that made it so damn special? Because, you know, this Atlanta that we in now, it mm-hmm. just don't feel like the same home that we grew up in, though, so say. Um and it's not because, to me, um, we can't go back to the places that we grew up. We can't go back to the projects we visited, you know, some the clubs the we were going to. Yeah. Some of the schools. My yeah. elementary school, I went to C.W. Hill. It's now Kyle a Hikes. different school. It's a I damn went, hill. I went to Walden Middle School. That shit yeah. is now a baseball field right after that Grady Curve. Damn. That whole, it's not even there no more. You yeah. wouldn't even know it was a school there. So, uh, yeah, it's just the, the places of nostalgia and uh, yeah. shout out New Face for that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, old Face, what up, though? What's up, my guy? Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? We can't go to that. So, all we have is the, the memories and the stories we can tell. Mm-hmm. So, that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to do that. For somebody that's coming into the city, though, so say they don't know a damn thing about Atlanta, mm-hmm. what are some of the main things that they need to know, though? Um, the places that you think are the safest, not. <laughs> Not anymore. I'm you know what I'm you. saying? Yeah. Um, now, of course, if you just come to the city, get the tour stuff out the way. You know, yeah. go ahead. If you want to go to Magic City, go. Yeah. Most of us not going to go with you. We done been a thousand times. <laughs> come it's, on. it's not going to change. So, yeah, do that. Yeah. Um, be safe, but tap in with the, the history of Atlanta. Like, we, I fell in love with this city as a kid because, to be honest with you, I didn't see no white people. Yeah, I didn't see none either. Growing Until, up. Yeah, I didn't. Re- we know we had a, f- a few here and there. It was yeah. John that went to Doug High with me. He was the only one. Well, he was one of us because I think he was call you out. Come on, dog. So I mean, like, hell, yeah. we had white boys, but it was really just light skinned black boys. Facts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's so the like, we got to them. I, I didn't. I didn't see that. So the 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 power that we had as black folks, and we were more unified back then. Than me. Yeah. I, you know, everybody had their little beefs. Yeah. And of course, you had East Side, West Side. Facts. This, that, and the other zones versus zones. Yeah. But it wasn't any. Gangs at all. We didn't have a gang culture at yeah. all. Um, and I just think like that feeling that we had back then, we can't. It, that's what's lost. Yeah. Um, you know, we used to go to the parks on Sunday. 
Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Mosley. Go skating or whatever. Yep. You know, mostly on the Sunday. Yeah. That's the place to be. And then low after riders. that, you know, if you was a little older, at night, you go on the old net. Come on. You know, but we don't have places like that no more for these kids. That's why they doing donuts wherever they can find an open street. <laughs> you know. Um, so that, I, I believe that's that's what we we missing the most, that camaraderie, that family sense that we used to have. Who were some of the Atlanta legends that impacted so say the most, though, man? When you ah. think about Atlanta, you think about some people that just laid the smack down in the damn city. Who were the boys that gave you something to aspire to be or they were just getting so damn busy that your life wouldn't have been the same if they hadn't been born? I ain't even going to lie to you, man. Uh, and I feel as if these boys don't get enough love uh, when we bring this up. Oop, can't raise me. Facts. Um, shout out to Lil C. Lil C is still one of my good what partners. What up, Lil C? Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we got some things in the works, too. Me, okay, him, and yeah. Pretty Boy Tank. That's hard. Um, so, uh, yeah, man. Uh, them... You know, of course, Goody Mob, mm -hmm. of course, Outkast. Goody Mob was the first tape I ever stole for Sam Goody in Underground. <laughs> I definitely, you. definitely I went you. ahead and uh, did that. Um, um, you know, just just all that that, that good stuff, man. From even Criss Cross, you know, yep. they was young. I remember going to school with my clothes backwards. Come on, man! Call my parents. <laughs> and told the rest of school, we know we we can't no nah, we this is banned. Exactly. Yeah, you can't even do that. So it's just you know those people and, and just the whole culture and camaraderie, man. It's uh, but yeah, those people, and then when it comes to, because uh, I, I do comedy in a way, I used to do stand-up, so yeah. um, even back in the day, uh, Preacher Man. Wait a minute, answer me this, though. What made you stop doing the stand-up, though, so say? So with stand-up, I respect uh, the art of comedy so much, mm -hmm. and the respect uh stand-up. Mm -hmm. um, I continuously did it for some years, but I'm not passionate yeah. about doing stand-up. Because uh, um, with me, is I, I can write jokes, mm -hmm. but I don't like repeating yeah. So once I get up on the stage, I don't practice a joke five, six times. It no longer has that luster to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I can still do it, but I'm more focused on writing. I like okay. writing now, script writing, short stories, yeah. uh, creating content. I'm with you. Um, and I, I feel as if, you know, I'm about to be forward in a couple of weeks. I wish Later you. on, you know, I might probably jump back into it because I got more stories to tell now. Thanks. And I'm a storyteller. I'm with so you. So that's where So Say comes from. Remember yeah. The usual suspects, Kaiser So Say. Yeah. So Say, greatest storyteller of all that's times. Right. That's where that came from. So, you know, yeah, when I get older, I'll probably tap back into it because it's still in me. I'm exactly. just not passionate about that part. Okay. And I don't want to get up there and play with nobody. You know? <laughs> I'm with you. I, and I done bit up on at Uptown the Bar. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I know the feelings, all the feelings of it. But, yeah, I, I just wasn't passionate at the time. I'm still tapped in with a lot of these people, yeah. um, comedians in, in Atlanta. So one day, I, you know, I'll jump back into it. Man. Exactly. Yeah. So now, when it comes to your content creation, and you look up and you realize that you out here going viral in this thing, so say, mm. what are some of your favorite stuff that you done dropped that, that made it go crazy? And what, okay, what was the first one that went crazy? You were like, okay, hold up, I got something here. It's about to go down to this thing. Now, you know one thing about growing up in Atlanta? Uh-huh. Two things we don't play about. Talk to me. Our neighborhood. In our high school. Come on now. Now, I had dropped a couple of videos before I dropped this one. But when I started dropping the top five high schools, <laughs> to this day, people still go and comment on those posts. Yeah. Oh, you left this off. You left this off. Well, what about Tri-City? Hey, I said APS. It's, 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 it's a full county school. It's full time APS. But we love Tri-City. But we love you. Oh, how you ain't going to put Maze first? I'm an Astro. Hey, I'm a Maze high person. <laughs> I'll let you slide because you was doing it. Yeah. But as long as it's there, as long it's as it's there. there. And that was the only reason why. You know, and now, yeah. if I would have went to Washington, <laughs> then, of course, I wouldn't have had to do you know, exactly. the drug high and Maze thing. But that I'm rivalry goes on. So. <laughs> Because uh, I don't went to, I went to the hill. Yeah. I went to the hill, got punched in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, you know, I, I did my thing. That was yeah. just part of the, the thing. So, uh, yeah, when I dropped them high school ones, man. Yeah. People don't play about that high school, man. Why do you think we take our high school so god dog on serious in the 8 -0? Uh Because those high school years are the last years that you can, you know, before people go off to college and yeah. get into the workforce, that we all together. And that captured our youth. That was the last moment. Because once you graduate, are you grown now? Yeah. Where you, where, what's going on? You can't go back to the high school. Yeah. And we're not going to be back here, you know, next August. Yeah. Or whatnot. So. A lot of them folks you might not ever even see you again. You might not ever see again. And, um, you know, and I just feel as if back then you had those groups of friends. Because I know people that were in high school, that groups of friends, and they followed each other. Yeah. They left them. Some of them went to Morris Brown. They yeah. went to Clark. Yeah. You know, they went to these places. But that high school, man, it just wasn't no. It, that was that was as good as it get for being at 
that the time period right there, man. And people just honor their high schools, man. It's just you gotta rep it. Okay, I'm gonna be all over the place, but you so say I'm which prayer of a Falcons fan, <laughs> man. Okay, I mean I've cried many a nights right along with you. And I mean, it got to the point where the Falcons had to tap in with you at the same damn yeah, time. Yeah. Talk to me about where that started. When you had to hit up with the squad, and uh, then yeah. what the <laughs> hell went through your mind when the Falcons touched down? Oh boy. So, um, so I've been doing the uh, prayer of a Falcons fans videos. I think this is yeah, this is going on the ninth season. My God. So people think that you know, some people think I probably just started doing it a couple years. Nah, I've been doing this for since 2013. My God. Um. Because I've always been a lifelong Falcons fan. It was one of them things as well. Yeah. What kind of content uh, can you come out with? And this was back then. Because, uh, And I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm about to play the band. Uh -huh. There was not a first social media star in Atlanta before me. Oh! At all. Come on with it. At all. So back then is when... When I started doing it, nobody knew how to do video. What a video? What are you doing? What's, this ain't. I was one of the people they were talking about. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Yeah. He'll he'll do a such and such yeah. comedy. He only be on stage. I do be on stage. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, it was just, you know, I got to find something different. I never wanted to be like everybody else. Yeah. Um, so when it came, I'm watching the game at my partner house and. And I was like, man, you know what? I'm just start doing Falcons videos. Ain't nobody doing sports videos. They ain't doing it for their favorite team, this, that, and the other. And that's when Squaw <laughs> was born. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And and uh, so I started doing just initial prayers. I just want us to win. Yeah. You know, that's you know, and it just went as I did a couple games and I started noticing people like it. So I just kept it going. Yeah. And then every year it's like, I'm a real Falcon fan. I ain't going nowhere. I don't care what happened. Exactly. I ain't going nowhere. So every year, let me give pe people something to look forward to. Yeah. Um, I had more people probably watching the, the videos mm -hmm. than the actual game. Woo. And then uh, uh, shout out to uh, Tori. Uh, he reached out to me, man, and they blessed me and put me on uh, the documentary about the Falcons the year after the Super Bowl blunder. My God. And uh, we did a documentary. Um, I opened up the documentary with a prayer. <laughs> Powerful standing in front of the beard. Come on, you know now. what I'm saying? And um, they locked me in with that. They aired that on NFL documentary. I mean, it's NFL Network. Um, and all that, man. Yeah. So, and, and, and I was the first doing Falcons videos, too. Yeah. Nobody else was doing that as well. Um, so, yeah, it was just the love of the game. And, and, you know, Sundays, that was my time. Yeah. And then once the Falcons <laughs> tapped in, they hit me one day, boop. Hey, we like what you're doing. Keep up the content. Yeah. Well, bring me on in then. Exactly. Come on bring with me it. on in. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's going to happen. Uh, shout out to Big T, Big Terry. Yeah, you yeah. know, hopefully he, he see it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They bring me on. I don't care what's going on. You know, let me. I work beside Pastor Troy. It don't matter. <laughs> it don't make a difference. I just, you know, do it for the culture and the love of, the, of, of, the, of our team. Okay. For those that don't understand, though, why do you love the Falcons? When they ain't bringing home the chips, talk to them. What you got to realize is being a Falcons fan is that's somebody that you want in your life. <laughs> Why? <laughs> They're going to be loyal to you. That's real. The ups and downs. And we have more downs than ups. Come on. But I can't go nowhere. Because one day, <laughs> <laughs> one day, I'm with you. we're going to reach that mountaintop. That's right. And that's all I want. I'm not trying to start a dynasty. I don't want yeah. five rings. <laughs> Just one. Why? Just and I left my braids ring. I'm mad. I left my braids. Oh, I've been yeah, braids. yeah. But um, yeah, man, it's just uh somebody that red and black. My first football when I was a kid, I got it from my uncle. It was an all red one. Yeah, with the Falcons, the old school. I with logo. You. And it's just been on ever since. Um, I don't look at no other team. I, I'm with our players while you playing with us. When you don't play with, us, I don't care nothing about you. Come on now, you know. So uh, yeah, it's just that love of that, and then just people always talk, you know, talk mess. But I'm going to defend my team. Ain't nothing I'm you can tell you. me. You know, I don't care who playing for us at the time. Answer me this, though, so say, because, see, as a Falcons fan myself, we have a lot of downs in this thing. Does it hurt you like it hurts me when they lose, man? Because the whole thing, it, it kind of, it's like a depressing kind of feel the next day. This shit is personal. See, it, it's, it's personal, and it dictates the weather and the energy for the following <laughs> week. <laughs> Just as we go along, next season, just pay yeah. attention to it. If we win a game, <laughs> it's sunny as hell. Upbeat, it's sunny, no rain, no yeah. nothing. People, people nicer again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. When we lose, it's gonna rain 30 minutes after that game until Wednesday. My God, uh, traffic gonna be 
ridiculous. Everybody gonna be getting on your nerves. The whole energy is off, man. So that's why I like. I'm like, let's win just so the, the city can feel good for the week. Exactly. Um, yeah, man. And I think that's what what just dictates it. Um, but you know, between the feeling of going in the game and a lot of people I know, they go in the game then halftime. They're back outside with the tailgate. Yeah. And that's what the real action is. Exactly. That's what real action. We can watch the game on somebody back of somebody car out down. there. So um, yeah, that's what I think. It's just the energy, man. And they they uh the team for us in the city that's just we just waiting on them to get over the hill, man. Yeah. We just waiting on them to get here over the hill. What do you think that'll do to your local Atlanta folks though if the Falcons brought home a chip? Because I mean, I was already ready to go when we was at that Super Bowl. Hey, and you know hey. that what 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 I do know, cause see, I'm about to bring this into a whole different conversation at the same time, so you. say. What I do know is that everybody knows that real Atlanta. Falcons fans are real Atlanta yeah. people. Yeah. They know that if real Atlanta people get that Falcons W, you going to have to deal with some shit out of these with. locals forever. It. Forever. Forever. Ever. Why do people hate Falcons fans that are local? And then I'm tying that into the Amaretta. Mm -hmm. You ain't Atlanta. Gotcha. So I think it's, it's the situation of they don't want us to win because they know what's going to happen. <laughs> they know what's going to happen. Um, I feel as if we like one of the only cities that our fan base, like if you go to other big cities, it's split between whatever their home team is and the Cowboys. Yeah. Here, it's like we got Falcons fans, yeah. but then we since we got people from all over the place, they fans of any team that comes play us. <laughs> any team that come here, they got a fan base here. That's you know true. what I'm saying? So it's just... <laughs> They want to keep us out. Yeah. They, and this is the thing that get me. They be so mad at us and calling us sorry every year. Exactly. Like we've won before. Exactly. I'm like, we've never even won. Come on. So I don't understand the level of hate you really have for us. Come on now. We've never won anything. And my emotion, I, you know, I'm no longer emotionally invested in it. Okay, you just had so to tap out. That's how I, I had to tap out. <laughs> what I had to realize is whether they win or lose, them players – when they go back to the locker room, it's a check, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ain't no check in my locker. Ain't no check in that damn locker. So I can't continue to just be mad because we just lost by three points and we should have really won by yeah. 17. Come on. I done got into a fight with a Saints player. I mean, not with a Saints fan after the game. Like a real fight. What the hell happened, so say? I'm going to keep the story short because I know bro still don't like to talk about it, man. Okay. But I was, with, I was with DJ Pretty Boy Tank. Okay, what up, no Tank? Because I used to go tailgating with his family down there, man. We had, it was a, uh, we lost to the Saints, man. We ended up going down to Peter Street, man, and <laughs> ended up getting into it with some Saints fans. Damn. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I handled my business, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, get two, I, I had three on me. Uh, you know, I handled my business, and one guy got me real good. Ooh, for coming around this way, bop, bop. You know Ooh. what I'm saying? But I handled my business. We That's won right. that. <laughs> we win the game. We won that fight. We won the war. Um, yeah, yeah, man. But it, you know, it, it wasn't on me. It was just yeah. dude just talking a lot. Man. Yeah. So you know, just boiled up and that came on through. Exactly. We had to you know make it happen. But yeah, that it. Then that's that's the most important rivalry too. Of course, yeah. you know that Saints Falcons uh, goes back to uh, the first two teams in the South. Yeah. Um, so our rivalry. We don't care about the Super Bowl. We got two Super Bowls. Yeah. Exactly. I'll put Playing you on that. Saints. Um, I'm with you. Yeah. Okay, so now Amaretta, when she dropped that song that pissed everybody off, man, Ooh. what were your thoughts on that? So say, uh, I loved it. I loved it too. I loved it to be honest with you. Yeah. But that's a new Atlanta argument. Mm. Uh, you know, um, you know, I understood her point of view, mm -hmm. um, and I understood it was going to ruffle some feathers, and she, it, it did exactly what it's supposed to. Yeah. Um, but you know, with us growing up back in the day, man, all of this was considered Atlanta to us, except for. Gwinnett, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, and that, and for a long period of time, Clayton County was the Gwinnett of the South. Yeah, um, you know that was the only place that you would say, "Yo, that, that ain't Atlanta." But College Park, yeah, East Point, facts, all that. That's Atlanta, yeah. Decatur. This, yeah. Even though they all they rep their own entities, Ooh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But it's still Atlanta. That's right. Um, now, when you leave this city, you don't get specific. Yeah, you just exactly. say I'm from the A. Come on. And people are like, oh, okay, that's what I'm doing. That's when they go into the, oh, what part are you from? You from Zone 6? You from <laughs> Zone 6? Nah, boom. Um, but I think what that did was it did two things. It kind of brought us all back together again. Yeah. But then for the new, it confused them. Because <laughs> they never knew this. Ooh. 
at a time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And when she broke down the song, everything she said in the song was true. Exactly. She no pointed APS. Yeah. She pointed out the sixes. I mean Come the on. zones. Exactly. One through six. Yeah. Um and back in the day that was Atlanta. I think she was just differentiating the city of Atlanta. Yeah. Versus Atlanta and Metro Atlanta. Yeah. Um but I liked it, man. Shout out to Snapped on the song. Went crazy. Went crazy on the song. Why do you think folks were so pissed off with it though? Because they've been saying Atlanta. I'm from Atlanta for so long, and they from Grayson. <laughs> like, you from know Ken what I'm saying? George. Yeah, you from Cam, you from Cam, you from, you know, you from Douglasville. That's out west, that's Come west, on. west. That's west, west, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I think it just put, you know, their locations was was uh, questionable now. Yeah. Like, all right, where you, where you from for real in Atlanta? Come on. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we all always been, you no, know, Dr. Lee said, one band, one sound. But then I'm gonna say this, though, too, so say, what people don't understand from the outside looking in is how much pride people have in those specific areas, areas right. and hoods and streets right. and why they rep them so damn hard, right. too. Right. Because the whole thing is, if you're over there, Doug, you're talking about Bankhead and MLK. They take okay. a special kind of nigga <laughs> to come up <laughs> off a Bankhead and MLK. A special kind of come nigga on. to do that. And, and to be honest with you, that's what... That's what made me want to go to Doug. Come on. So I'm from Boulevard. I'm from Bethel Pine. Okay. Um, and of course, you know, back then we had the magnet program. Yeah. So once eighth grade came around, it was like, you know, you keep around the grades, you can pick what high school you wanted to. Yeah. There wasn't no other high school I wanted to go to. That's I wanted right. to go to Doug. Come on now. Why? I have no idea, but it was the mystery. <laughs> going over to the west side, going to uncharted land, you know. Come on. To a legendary place. Yeah. Um, And keep in mind, I knew Doug was a hot box, but I didn't realize they didn't have no window. <laughs> <laughs> they, you know they didn't have no windows at all. No, no windows. Yeah. No windows. Um, but when I got there, man, it was just that feeling. Yeah. That Karate, you know, I could have easily went to Grady, but Come I on. knew everybody already because that, that's that's in my neighborhood. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, going over there, man, it just it was a, a different feeling, man. And I met so many, you know, so many folks came out of Doug that I remember seeing. Can you speak on that camaraderie, though, out of Doug, though, too? Because those Astros got a different, out of all them West Side schools, the Astro them Pride. damn Astros got a different level of camaraderie, man. That, that Astro, Why? That Why? Astro Pride, man, that Astro Pride. Come Why on. I keep trying to 225 certified. Okay, now. Nah. If you just you, you you just you just wear that black and gold, man. You just <laughs> it's just something to take over you to make you feel like you want to be great. Yeah. And, and I will say as well as the the, the faculty and the staff and the principals, yeah. they were hand in hand with you. Mm. You know, it wasn't more so. Oh, I'm gonna call your parents. I'm yeah. a, such as no, they take care of it right then and there. That's right. Um, you know, the teachers were. You know, I was an all A student at Doug. Yeah. You know, in the magnet program. Come on now. Um, shout out to Miss Busby, who's probably the most famous Doug yeah. High teacher to me. She had that fro going on. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, she kept us in line. A lot of people say, oh, she was mean. She wasn't mean. She just wanted us to be somebody. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? When we left here. Okay. You was talking off air about Jamal Lewis, <laughs> man. What was it like seeing a young Hall of Famer yo. at Doug High? Yo. A young Hall of yo. Famer. Yo, I know, I know, I know, I, I know. I have a dad and I have a father. <laughs> but when I got to Doug in the ninth grade, and Jamal was a twelfth grader. The first time I seen a grown man. <laughs> you hear me? You hear me? Uh, real quick story, man. Uh, Jamal loses the reason why I quit playing football. And I was on defense. <laughs> I was so far, you too big to be quit playing football. So back then, I wasn't big like this. Okay. I was skinny, I was lanky. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Just a tall was, nigga yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah, just a tall, skinny nigga. Yeah. Had a little speed on me. Okay. Um, you know, and I was playing DB. I had came from Emmy, playing eighth grade. I used to play uh, uh, for MLK Freedom Riders. Yeah. Shout out DJ Unk. That was okay, my quarterback then. at what the time. I was um, playing there. Um, but yeah, man, they, they uh, came out and ran a halfback, tossed to my side, left me on the island in a zone. You know, Jamal, Jamal come around that corner, man. When he come around that corner, in my mind, I'm like, you know, this is my time to shine. <laughs> Coach, I'm, I'm about to make varsity. I ain't trying to be on the B team. Man, Jamal came around that corner, they tossed that ball to him. He caught the ball. When he caught the ball, I'm looking at him like, yeah. Oh, all I got to do is get low. All I got to do is get low. So I'm just, I'm just asking myself to get lower, man. As that man got closer and closer to me, man, he got bigger. <laughs> and bigger. <laughs> and bigger. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I got low. Man, that big nigga got lower. <laughs> That man put his helmet right here in my chest, man. I'm in the air. I'm in the air like this here. Man, I hit the ground. Boom, boom. I feel it like cleat. Boom, boom. By the time I, I, I'm on the ground stretched this way, I'm looking up, but it's, but it's still running. Oh, my God. I'm on the ground hurt, man. They came over there to me. Hey, man, get up, man. You know, you all right. Man, threw that helmet off that. Hey, 
win basketball tryouts, man. <laughs> this ain't this ain't for me. I'm on defense. I ain't it's supposed to be getting hit like this. Come on, um, oh, yeah, I, yeah, I ain't supposed to be getting. That was the last time I played organized football. Oh my, literally, God. that was it. It wasn't no more practice. It wasn't no more plays ran for me. Locker room, I'm catching the Marty bus back to Boulevard <laughs> quietly. <laughs> yeah, they're like, what's wrong with you, bro? Leave me alone. Yeah, I got my, my Kobe walk me in zone, man. Just leave me alone, man. Just leave me alone, bro. I'm going through some things right now that you you know I understand. <laughs> but uh, yeah, shout out to him, man. That was the first time I ever seen a grown man. When you saw all of them uh, stars pop out of Doug, though, man, because mm-hmm. that was another school that, you know, bred a lot of folks that were going to be in the NFL. Thanks. uh yeah. and, Hip hop and everything mm-hmm. else. What was it like seeing them folks as young kids? Um, one of one of the stories that I do remember. You remember when Ti first came out? He, yeah. uh, I forgot what song it was or what not. He was saying they was used to be in the cafeteria beating on the tables. Yeah, rapping. I literally saw that. My God, I saw that. Uh, I want to say he was a year ahead of me, two mm-hmm. years ahead of me, something like that. Yeah, and I remember that him, uh, Greg, you know, a couple other dudes used to be beating on him, and then by the time breakfast was over. They couldn't crawl the field in the back. <laughs> they out of here. They ain't going to class. Nah, man, you can't get that breath in. Come on. Come get that breath in. You know what I'm saying? Get these raps in. <laughs> they couldn't crawl the field. <laughs> they out of here. Um, so seeing people like that in a uh, franchise. Uh, yeah. Uh, shout out Paul Lay. Uh, what up, Don't Lay? Um, you know, Doug just got that, you know, we done had a male come up out of there. Those are facts. You know, Killer Mike. Killer Kill from, from the Ville. Killer from the Ville. You Come know what on. I'm saying? It's, it's, it's people like that where I'm proud to be like, you know, I went to Doug, man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I ain't go to May. Nah, I <laughs> went to May. <laughs> Don't get it, you man. Don't no, no. throw that in there. Come on, that's the goodie. Yeah. Okay, hey, you hey, better hey, understand hey, that. Hey, hey, the Emperor Cersei that held it yeah. down on the radio for right. 50, 11 years. Right. Right. Oh, TLC, Chili was hey, in that hey, thing. Chili went to May. Chili went to May's partner. Okay. I, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I, 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 I give you that. Now, we had a new mail. Yeah. Show no man. Yeah. Andre went to Mays too. But the Doug did it first. Y'all talking to me like that? The hell no. Hell no. So y'all had to come clean it up. Come on. Come do it the right now, way. we had to get it right. We had to get it right. You, that boy you. Andre raised the hell down there too, man. That man been working so damn hard. Hey, man, facts. Facts he has. Talk to me about that too, because that's one of the things that when it goes back to what Amaretta says, why folks are so in love with their damn city, mm-hmm. when your mayor went to school where you what went school? to, you see what I'm yeah. saying? You got a whole different pride for mm-hmm. that area yeah. and stuff like that. So now I need you to get back on your legendary stuff and the things that you do with Butter ATL as well, man. Right. I mean, break right. down some of that stuff. Uh, so when I started doing the content, you know, of course, once it once it caught on, mm-hmm. um, shout out to Brandon Butter. He uh, he reached out to me. Yeah. Um, it was like, hey, man, I'll be interested in you doing some content for us. Yeah. And, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking, all right, cool. He probably got something in mind he want me to do. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Let's get together. Let's go ahead and do it. He was like, nah, do what you're doing. I'm mm. just going to send you my logo. <laughs> So, right, he was like, you know, go ahead. I'm going to send you my logo. Yeah. And, and to him, like I said, I was doing it because I was trying to come up with content. That's right. Uh, but it hit me. It was like, hey, look, and tell me how much you want for it. Woo. I said, hold on, you go. Come on now. Pay me for it. <laughs> okay, all right. Which, how many videos you need? Exactly. Right, cool. So, you know, I did that and then uh, just kept going the line and threw, threw his logo on there and kind of gave him ones that were specialized and like, all right, boom, y'all gonna have to go check out Butter. Exactly. You know, so check out what else he going on, you know, but check out my video too. So yeah. definitely shout out to him because uh, he reached out to me and, and got me popping as far as he was the first one that actually paid me. Come on now. To do what I, what I, what I was already doing. And Thanks. that was and that was a good feeling. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, and when he did that, I was like, all right, we can go ahead and set a price for anybody, you know, that want to come along. some yeah. of that. I mean, but break it down in the same breath, though, so say, because what you're doing is so damn important mm. to the heart and the integrity of the city at the same damn time, mm. too, man. I mean, I love when I'm scrolling down and I'm seeing legends like Sideman get their love. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Sideman was an OG to me yes. in the radio game, yeah. and, I mean, he was one of those people that – You know, I remember when I first started in radio as an intern back in the day, Mm -hmm. and I wasn't amounting to nothing as usual. And they were like, all right. (laughs) I wasn't amounting to shit at the moment. They were like, hey, man, since you ain't amounting to shit over there, go out there in the streets and get these drops for the radio Mm personality. So I'll go out there and get drops for Sideman. And I would say everybody else's name. They'd be like, who? Huh? What? Who? What? And what I would say, I need a drop for Sideman. I don't give a damn if I was in the West End. 
I don't give a damn if I was in South DeKalb Mall. Mm -hmm. I don't give a damn if I was on the north side or the south side. Mm -hmm. They'd be like, Sad man, that's my boy. I love Sad man. What you need me to say? And they would give me that stuff every time. And then when I would see Sad man in that station, he would just have that love Mm -hmm. and that mentorship for a young player coming up that Mm -hmm. you wasn't receiving no place else from people that of that stature that's that damn great in the game, mm-hmm. man. So for me to see you show him that love as well, that kind of warmed my heart because yeah. I know it from you know working with the man, but then also just knowing how he impacted the city. City, right? It's Godfather Radio. Today. Come on, man. You know the Godfather Radio. So I, I definitely had to, and that was one of the only things about it. Like, uh, unfortunately, I you know he passed before I was able to give it to him while he could see mm. it. But it was still very important yeah. to do it. Now you got to give it up regardless. Got to, got yeah. to uh, because you know Sideman and Ryan Cameron. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. As far as to me, uh, the two. And you got to throw street in there too. Gotta th- and got to throw street in there too. Now as far as when it come to that. Yeah. Um, and um, you know because th- those people raised us. Come on. Now. You know what I'm saying. Um, don't worry about it. You 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 in line, my brother. You in I'm line. Trying. Don't, I ain't, I ain't no trying. <laughs> ain't no trying to be high. <laughs> ain't no trying to be high, man. Because one thing about Atlanta radio, besides, I want to say maybe what Bankhead. Yeah, Bankhead. Everybody head. else is. But see, not I necessarily had to say from that. us. Well, you know, like I told Bankhead to his face one time, I mm. said uh, when I was early in my game, that boy went to dog too. Yeah, that boy went to dog too. <laughs> Damn sure did. You know, I'm so sick of y'all niggas. I told Bank, I said, hey man. When I was doing radio and I wasn't amount to nothing, mm-hmm. I said I used to hear your ass on V103. Mm-hmm. And it would give me hope. Because when I cut on the radio, I hear somebody from that lunchroom. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? I hear exactly. somebody from that goddamn lunchroom exactly. and I'm like, I don't know who this man is personally, but I know this goddamn voice. I know. I know this tone. I know, I know this lingo. I know this slang that I'm hearing across the radio. Mm-hmm. And that motivated me to stay down all the way up until I had to retire from radio. Yeah. You know, because I had to get the hell up out of there because of COVID, because that nigga didn't want to get no shot. Right. You see what I'm, I'm saying? You. Come on, that I'm shit got you. real. I ain't doing it. Come enough. on, man. I wasn't going for that <laughs> shit so safe. But I know listening to Bankhead on the radio, that shit inspired me mm-hmm. to stay down to make a voice for myself because he was the first one from the hood, hood, hood. Right, right. That was actually being heard on across the, the damn city. On you the see radio. what I'm saying? Right. Really from the hood, And, and that's, that's one of the things about Atlanta, too. We don't have to look nowhere else for inspiration. Come on. That's why I love it so ah! much as well. I don't got to look at the folks in L.A. That's why I had an opportunity to move in L.A. some years ago. What? Um, because I was offered a contract yeah. um, from All Def Digital. My God. Um, why didn't you do that shit, nigga? Why? I'm not leaving here to become the man here. I'm staying here. I, this is what I know. And then when I go out there, what all they trying to do is just suck the Atlanta culture up out of me. They trying to figure out what's popping in, in Atlanta so we can kind of make it look good out here in L.A. and on our platform. Nah, I'd rather stay here. I don't have to go nowhere. If I can conquer, if I if I can conquer my own city, I done conquer the world because the whole world looking at us. Nigga, that's what you were supposed to do is I'm go to L.A. and take that nah. Atlanta sauce out there and nah. then come back. Oh. Nah, first of all, you can't wear that A-hat like, like oh, how you yeah, did. You gonna get shot. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna get shot. <laughs> but I'm not taking my A-hat off. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm from Atlanta, bro. I'm with, with you. I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? But nah, it, I mean, just looking at the contract, too. I didn't, okay. They, 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 they're trying to take a lot of, you're yeah, trying to take away yeah. a lot of my intellectual property. Yeah, that IP is yeah. real. Yeah, so I, I wasn't going for it. And I think that's just part of my journey. I, you know, I turned out two actual contracts. What? Uh, I turned out there and um, one here as well. I was offered from a, a group here as well. Yeah. The uh, Archive Entertainment okay. that was doing uh, yeah. DC Young Fly. DC them. They yeah, had signed DC at the time mm-hmm. um, and that's when all that was popping off and they had handed me a contract. They gave me and Nav Green a contract at the same mm. time. So Nav, um, I was popping in, right? Yeah. Social media wise. Um, and it's a quick story too. I'm here um, for They called um, you know, saying, "Hey, bro, we want you to come down here and do a couple of these videos for us." And I'm like, "Cool." At that time, I ain't had no automobile. Yeah, me and Nav were cool because me and Nav, I had Nav coming to the crib. We were shooting um, little skits and stuff at that time to put on Instagram. And I called him. I was like, "Hey, bro, these folks want me to come down mm-hmm. and do a couple of videos for Ratchet People Meet." Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I'm saying, bro? You mind taking me down there? So you can probably go ahead and slide in there and get you, exactly. you know, get you one too. Come on. Um, he was like, "Yeah, bro." He came and picked me up, and we went and did the videos, and he did his, and mm-hmm. that's when. He dropped uh, uh, Shift Leader. 
<laughs> that's yeah. when Shift Leader was born. Yeah, that's crazy. Shift Leader was born. My God. Um, he had the yellow shirt with the Shift Leader written on it. Yeah. With his, like he wrote it with his toes. And, uh, <laughs> you know, that's when Shift Leader was born uh, for Nav Green. And they offered us both a contract at the time. And I didn't like the contract. Mm-hmm. Um, and I went back to him, countered him, like, hey, man, y'all need a writer. Yeah. You know, y'all have people. Y'all have stars. Yeah. Y'all don't have a writer. Let mm-hmm. me create some content. Let me write some stuff for you. I already got some short story scripts. Exactly. Let's go with that. And they, you know, they they weren't interested in that. Yeah. So, you know, that didn't go anywhere. So I went back to work. Uh, I was working at uh, Famous Fish on MLK I'm in the Gordon Plaza right up the street from Doug. <laughs> I know what you're and talking about. And me and Lil C about. had a, at a restaurant there. Yeah. Now I was in there chefing it on up. I recall. Um, yeah, and I just, uh, I just, just to me, it's like anybody else would jump right on it, sign it. Yeah. Boom. Um, but I, I used to like to read and know what I was getting myself into. And then, I, you know, I pray to the big God. Exactly. Is this what you want me to do? Come on. You know, he gave me signs saying, nah, don't do it. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, you know, keep in mind, you know, fast forward. If I would have did it, I probably would have been a little further. But if I still had a peace of mind, I doubt it. I done been there. I, I'm yeah. walking with you on that yeah. street plot. Yeah, so I know my time coming, man. Exactly. I ain't, that's the one thing I'm not worried about. I'm going to do content regardless. Yeah. Whether I'm signed to somebody big, whether I'm doing it on my own. Whether one person watch it or a million watch it, I'm still going to do it. Come on. That's, that's just, just me. Being in the A and coming across some of your favorite celebrities and stuff like that, man. I mean, break down some of those experiences for me. <laughs> so, uh, you know, of course, here, man, we all celebrities. Facts. So, yeah, we all yeah. celebrities here. But uh, what I will say is the only time that... I hate to cut you off. Mm-hmm. And the reason why he says yeah. that is because in everybody's family, everybody. there's one mega celebrity in everybody's family everybody. that's attached to something that was just something. ridiculous yeah. that moved the culture forward. So that trickles down to the whole branch. The whole but I'm branch. back with right. you. Correct. Um, so with me, though, uh, I think the only one that sticks out memorable for me, and this happened when I was a kid, mm. is when I met Left Eye. My God. Uh, God rest her soul. Um, so this... <laughs> this <is crazy. laughs> Let me take a sip. Take your take time. A I'm with you. All right, so... Mm-hmm. This was right after she uh, treated Andre Rising House like a blunt. <laughs> lit, that, lit, that, lit it up, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Up, yeah. um, you know, when that case went down, you know, a lot of people, she kind of disappeared for a moment, right? Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people thought she was in jail, but she wasn't. Mm. She was in this place called uh, Charter, P Street mm. Charter. Yeah. Uh, Charter Gateway, it might have been called that back in the day, uh, which was just pretty much a place you go, you'd be isolated, you know what I'm saying, get your little help. But at that time, I actually had went there too because I was going through some things as an adolescent to where I wasn't running away from home. I just went going home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that, that's how I really learned about the city. You know, yeah. and, and fortunately it wasn't, you know, these was years past the Wayne Weaves. Yeah, yeah, so I could just, wouldn't yeah, yeah, I wasn't doing that then. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I went around. So one day, you know, I got into it. My pops, you know, they found about Charlie and sent me there for the, for the, for the summer. Mm-hmm. And uh, she happened to be there, man. We went. One day for lunch, mm-hmm. and so as we sitting at the table, I went, got my tray, sat down. Boom! They had gave us, they gave us some food, but they put prunes on there that day. Mm. And uh, as we sitting down talking, you know, somebody sit right here to the left of me. You know, I ain't paying no attention, none of this, that, and the other. I'm picking around the food, and then I just hear this voice say, um, "The boy, why you here eating them prunes?" <laughs> I'm like, eating the prunes. So I look over, and I look again. I was like, "Hey, oh, oh, it's." Hey, it's you. You from my TLC? You left yeah. She was like, yeah, but why you ain't eating your prunes? You know, you got to eat your fruits and your vegetables. I was like, man, I'm not eating your prunes. Now. Look, I said, you ain't even eating your prunes. <laughs> and she said, she looked at me and she said, you know what, little boy, you crazy. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm crazy. Okay, I'm, I'm crazy. Okay, but now nah, we laughed and joked. And, mm-hmm. you know, I remember that, man, because of her spirit. Yeah. You know, at the time, you know, I didn't look at, you know, even being younger, I didn't look at her as an angry black, black woman. Yeah. She was fed up. Exactly. You know, and some things just got out of control. But that was my moment um, of meeting an uh, actual Atlanta celebrity mm-hmm. that I still remember to this day. I done seen a lot of them, you know, everybody else. You know, I give them their respects. That's right. You know, I'm not one to want to touch you. Stop you. Hey, man, what's up? <laughs> hey, man, let's get this. You know, because I'm sure I'll probably see you again somewhere Exactly. Anyway. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that was one of my, that and uh, when Goody Mob, mm. uh, Goody Mob embraced me from doing the content, especially Cujo. That boy, um, Cujo Goody. Cujo. Um, and um, I don't know why I'm tripping right now. 
Gip. Um, Gip, yeah. Of and course. Gip, and Gip that embraced me. Good yeah, I can't. Yeah, yeah. Gip embraced Before I even started doing the old Atlanta content, he was embracing me from doing the Falcon video. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I seen it, it on Gip yeah. Pad back then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, you know, but when them legends tapped in, and you know, especially when I was doing it, you know, give them their own videos, and exactly. people tapping in with me, man. That That's what really keeps me going when those people like that tap in with Talk me. Talk to me, though, yeah. man. What were the times that So Say's heart was the most warmed when you give the gift of love and you receive it back? Oh, uh, man. Shh. Kilo. Yeah. Uh, Goody Mob. Mm -hmm. Lil John. Jermaine Dupree. Uh, all of them people, man. Oom Camp. They just coming back like, man, we appreciate you. Uh, T-Rock. Yeah. Original West Side DJ. Come on. Uh, when the people like that, you know, who may not, people on the outskirts may not know nothing about it, but these the biggest... Celebrities to me, Come on. especially from back in our era, man, when they showed me that love and they was, you know, not even just reposting it. Yeah. When they, all of a sudden, I'm getting DMs. <laughs> hey, man, hey, hey, man, we appreciate you. Exactly. Showing love to us and this, that, yeah. and other. Like, Kilo, I actually had a, Kilo called me. You know, I ain't gonna pick up nobody calling me on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. But I seen that Kilo <laughs> coming across the screen. I'm like, hold on, wait a minute, man. Let me, let me ask this. We had a conversation for about a about an hour, man. My God. And Kilo was telling me, man, you know what? I really appreciate you doing yeah. that, man, because I haven't received love like that in so long. And, and to me, that kind of broke my heart because I'm like, bro, you. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Okay, so say, can you explain to people what Kilo meant to us and what he means to Atlanta? The Alpha Omega. The Come one. On. Come on. He's the one. He's the one. Before, you know, everybody like to talk about this singing, rapping, about yeah. who started this, that, and the other. Come on. Well, all y'all took it from Kilo. Exactly. You <laughs> know, if, ands, buts about it. And that man been doing this type of music that you can still play now. You thought White Horse was about white women? Come on. This is what gets me about Kilo, too. Mm hmm. They want to say that the man made booty shake, but his some of his biggest songs and my favorite songs are conscious fucking music. Exactly. He's well-rounded, man. And that goes to show you the versatility of somebody from the A. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't spell versatile without that A in the middle. Come on now. You feel me? I might put that on a t-shirt. That's hard. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, I went to yeah, you know break it up. Like, up. You, you, you can't, you, you know, he was just the one. Like, it was no... No if ands buts about it. You knew his word. You know his yeah. songs word for word. Yeah. If you, as soon as you hear the beat, come on. Yeah. You know what's going on. And um, you know I feel like he he's another one that needs to just do. I feel like he needs a memorial, a uh, uh, mural, yeah. not a memorial. He needs a mural on yeah, Bankhead. He does. He does. On Bankhead. He does. Um, just to show that love. You know what I'm saying? Because he was he inspired a lot of people too. Rap. You know even even um. You know, him and Sam and Sam, but that beef yeah. they had. Come on now, the Hitman. The Hitman. And the Hitman is top five Come on. to me. I don't care what I nobody mean, say. The Hitman could have said, shoot him up, boy. But he said, knuckle up, he said, boy. Knuckle up. Come on. And that's when we was fighting back Come on. Day. You know, you fight. It is, you know, Hit him with a bottle. Yeah, yeah, stop. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, um, you know, those, it's just those moments, man. That's My what, God. you know, I want to capture. And the, that's what I, the main reason why I do all the Atlanta content. Because I feel as if they try to, uh, since we can't go nowhere, we yeah. can't go back to them places, it's uh, easy to try to erase it. And they don't talk about it. So I like, to, I like to bring that up because that's that's what we got to hang on to. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because also that's a place of refuge for us just to have some kind of sanity on what it was before it right. became Hollywood right. when it was just right. real life happening on a regular yeah. basis. But you had real talented people from your schools, from your areas that stood up. And then when you saw them in the street, they recognized you as a man. Hey, man, forget, forget, forget these concerts, right? Come on. Them, uh, them uh, back in the day, those... Uh, what did they call them? What, what, what they was doing? The talent shows? Yeah. Oh, man. Yep. It was in no... It ain't getting no better than that. Come on. Than all them talent shows, because it was talent all around the city. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And you got to see them before they got to be known to other people outside exactly. of us. They always been magical to us. Exactly. Um, you know what I'm saying? So it's just things like that, man. It just... We no longer have that, man. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And they, they taking it from us, because now this is Black Hollywood. But it's black Hollywood, but they're not trying to put the Atlanta culture into it. Like, like we've that. always been popular. So answer me this, too. Because <clears throat> that's one of the things that piss me off when I think about black Hollywood and Atlanta culture and all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be what it is today without Atlanta culture. Right. So why do you feel like 
they try to put a back seat, put the Atlanta coach in the back seat and that like it don't exist, never existed, mm -hmm. and it didn't pre-exist to all of this stuff. And it's not the catalyst to what we have right now. Um, Because they don't understand it. Mm. They wasn't here yeah. around that time. Yeah. Um, the way that they do it now is like uh, like if you was in Atlanta before sections, mm -hmm. which I mean like in the clubs. Mm -hmm. Now all the clubs are sections. Yeah. Sections didn't come around to 2005, 2006. Come it was on. all dance floor. It was all dance floor. You know floor. what I'm saying? Um, so before, they weren't here then. And you, you know, sat might... down to take a break from yeah, dancing. Exactly. So. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You, got, you sat on the couch because you was tired of exactly. dancing and geeking. And, come on. And, and, and you know, and freaking. And freaking. Come on. Especially in that down south room. <laughs> that's all going to call it. Come on. Come on. Man. Now, I be on Monte ass every time I talk oh, to him. Man. Him and Jelly, I said, y'all pretty much made my adulthood. Yeah. What it is. Yes, but come on. Be, be honest with you, we might have ran into the club back then. We were there. We might have ran come across on. each other. You know what I'm saying? Because I was there religiously. I know what you're talking I about. I tried to sneak in the night before. <laughs> with a fake ID from the Cleveland House. I mean, from what's doing that new Yeah, from Metro. And I had a late ass so birthday, just, too. So I just came back. Yeah. Day, like, yeah. I'm going to die. I'm going to stay upstairs for a little minute. Get exactly. Little day, see what's going on. But I'm hitting this down south room. Um, yeah, man, it's just. That type of stuff. Yep. That type of, you know what I'm saying? That was out in the basement. That's right. You know That's what I'm right. saying? We no longer have that. Everything you now, you got to go. It's $200 to park. Yeah. I ain't even got in the club yet. It's $200 to park. Yeah. And then I got to stand up. I got to pay $3,200 for a section that come with one bottle of Ripple. <laughs> oh, hell You know no. what I'm saying? Like, exactly. It's like, man, it's, it's no longer what we grew up. What do you think about the city turning into a battlefield, though, man? Because there's a lot of killing going on around uh, here. It's senseless, too. man. It's, it's very senseless. And I feel as if it's because the fact that we don't, it's no direction for the youth yeah. um, out here. Um, you know, back in the day, we did have some OGs at the time that would keep, keep us in line. Yeah. You know, um, that was actually doing things for the community that you see, like the Danny Boy picnics. And, yeah. You know, uh, stuff like that. And like I said, like we said, mentioned earlier, going to the parks on Sundays, you just yeah. felt that camaraderie, you know. There was a rule, you know. There yeah. wasn't none of that going on on Sundays. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But now these folks is, you know, it's just senseless what they're doing, man. Uh, long live Diz. Yeah. Um, you know, and then as recently as, you know, the guy Blakely just, Shooting a security guard in the back of the head, like for what? Yeah. Like, I don't get it, man. Even we've all and, and don't get it twisted. We've always had our problems. Yeah. One thing about Atlanta, they've always been good at covering it up. Yeah. But now with this age of social media, and everybody's a reporter. Yeah. Everybody has their opinion. Yeah. You see it more at the forefront. Um, right. And I just think is they don't have any guidance and they don't have things to do. Yeah. Um, with these kids, um, I think I think our, our mayor now, uh, uh, Dre, Dre, he's uh, I think he's trying to implement some stuff like that, bring back yeah. kind of that that feeling or give people things to do. Like we used to go have rec centers, go to the rec centers and I have, played at Big Hill, you know man. What I'm come on, like, man. And we used to look forward to that type of stuff. So exactly. it wasn't, we wasn't hanging out late, even though we'll come down to Five Points, yeah, and chill out or go wherever, but. Yeah. We had things to do. Now Man. they don't have anything to do. And these kids are now living the real video game. They live in Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. They think they really going to respawn out here, and you're not going to respawn. It's not a video game. No, partner. And uh, they're just taking away good people, um, you know, too early. And I, I don't get it. And, and I don't want to put the blame on Atlanta. Because yeah. I feel like since we've been the only ones open since the pandemic, yeah. it's a lot of people that came from out of town that can come in here and do their dirt and get up out get up out of here. A lot of that's going on. A lot of that's going on, yeah. man. And I as you know, I really I really wish it would, you know, come to an end. Um, but summertime is coming. <laughs> come on. We know how that gets. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> so <laughs> get crazy. Christmas is summertime. Christmas is summertime in the day. <laughs> they don't play. Oh, come on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, Shit. You know, I hope, this, you know, it, like I said, it gets better because it's been senseless, man. Yeah. Um, but it's not, it, this isn't the worst we've been. Exactly. It's worse than the I recall early some 90s. Time. Yeah. That era that, that uh, when the Miami boys came. Yeah. That time. Uh, with Katrina. Katrina. But it just wasn't the coverage wasn't there, so you ain't yeah. see it. Everybody had no yeah. phone. Everybody yeah. couldn't report it at the time, man. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think we we're, we're going to get back to that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as I see people out here doing different outreaches and things like that, trying to work with the youth now, mm -hmm. I think we're going to get there. It's going to take a little time, but mm -hmm. yeah, man, I, I, I pray for for our city because I don't want us to lose our soul. I feel that. Yeah, because with all this going on, they might strip the rest of it away from us. 
I mean, basically what I see you doing, too, is preserving the soul of the city. Yeah. Because the whole thing is, the things that you speak of is what make Atlanta the place that people want to come and live. Mm -hmm. It's not the Hollywood part that make folks want to come down here. It's the how you doing and it's what, the, what's happening exactly. that make folks want to come in there. Happening. You yeah, see what I'm saying? saying? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's what make folks want to come down yeah. here. But they want to erase that part of it and just go straight Hollywood. Like it never happened. Like you can't erase that whole period, bro. You can't erase it. Even though Freak Neek was the uh, the catalyst for a lot of people moving here, yeah. Um, and that's a, a part of our history. Yeah. Freak Neek was only one week out the year. Exactly. We were popping every fifty one other weekends too. Facts. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So it's uh, you know, they, they like I said, they trying to erase it, and you can't erase it because now you, if you do that, you're gonna be erasing a whole generation of Atlanta. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got you got the you got the vintage Atlanta to me, which yeah. is like 75 through 90, mm. you know. And I, I, I like to speak through the time period I came up, so that's 90 through 2005, I'm which is it. considered old Atlanta to me. Yeah. And then you got new Atlanta after that. I'm with that. You know what I'm saying? There's that's, that's actually two versions of new Atlanta. That's true, too. Because it's a new, new Atlanta. That new shit. Which is this one. Exactly. I ain't with that. I'm in the house. Yeah, it's, oh, no, nah, I ain't fucking around. I, I ain't around, you know, I ain't being around with you, man. You got, you got 12, 13, 14-year-olds. Carrying big Drake old, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> train to go. You know, train to go. They don't even no explanation. They no, can't fight. They can't fight. They can't fight and they, they can't shoot. To. But that's how the innocent people get hit. Exactly. You know? Um, so I hope we, we get it together, man, shape it up, get it right. Uh, cause we, we don't we don't deserve for this the city to be taken away from us the way that they try to. The merch though, so say mm -hmm. the old Atlanta hats, man. Hey, you strapped up right now as we speak. Break hey, it down. Got to, got to. So I'm gonna break it down to you, man. Of course, you're a product of APS, so you yes, remember sir. this. I know design. about that lunch card. I this know about that old, lunch card. This is our old lunch card. That's right, right. Here, man. Let me. Matter of fact, let me. This is our old APS lunch card. If anybody remembers it, they change colors every week or every month. Yeah. Um, but what I did was I wanted to come up with something that we would all remember from instantly just seeing. Mm. And I just put my own spin on it. Shout out to my partner, Jason Martin. Okay. Uh, me and him go back to fifth grade, sixth grade. Yeah. Uh, he's the one that helped me with the design of this. Uh, and we flipped it to make it an old Atlanta certified card. That's hard. Uh, and a couple things that break down on that, of course, it says OG on it. Yeah. Old Atlanta certified That's card. Right. I put old Atlanta high school on here to break everybody and saying we all from here. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I got the years of uh, 1990 through 05, mm. which are um, the old Atlanta period to me. And then I have uh, 28546 on there. Mm. Now, if you spell put that on the telephone pad, that spells ATL Ho. <laughs> that is our slogan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Zone 1 through 6, you got 44770, you know on there for being the original two. Um, area codes because yeah. uh, 770 came out early 90s yeah. um, and then it, of course it got strip clubs on the side come on you know come certain on. little details that, yeah. you know um, and I got them in different colors and things like that and I just figured it was time for me to come out with, a, with my own merch with um, shout out to uh, ATL alumni they sent me a lot of stuff um, Black by Design they have it's a lot of, I didn't realize it was so many people that actually have Atlanta Apparel, yeah, and uh, shout out to them for sending me some stuff. And but I just figured, hey man, it was my time to come up with something. I just needed something that I knew was gonna bring that feeling back. Come man, on, I got people telling, hey, man, I remember that lunch card, man. I had a brown one. Folks still got them too. things they in the high. Folks sitting to me. I got some. See, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and I'm gonna be honest with you. What yeah. I'm gonna do for you to be high? I'm Talk gonna to get you. I'm gonna make you a personalized maize colorway. I need that. Cause nobody else I has. I need it. that. I nobody need has. That. I gotta get that, that 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 yellow with that that powder blue. Come on, you know now. What I'm, I'm with that. Just for you. I'm with that. Um, so yeah, I had to pretty much come up with that, man. And if anybody wanna wanna get one of the hats, I got them on hand. So y'all just you know hit me up on on my IG. Joke boy, so say it. I'll make sure I get it to you, whether I deliver it in the mail or I hand to hand it. I'm with um, you. I'm gonna get it to you. Um, so yeah, I just had to come out with something, man, of my own mm -hmm. um, to kind of solidify, you know, what it is that I'm actually trying to do. Once again, how can these folks contact you, though? So say, and is there anything mm -hmm. you want your fans to know out here, man? Uh, man, I, well, first of all, I appreciate all the love yeah. uh, from everybody. Um, um, you know, some people coming around now uh, thinking I'm new to this. I'm not. Oh, I've been doing. On. I've been doing content. Yeah, um, for a long time, yeah. man, and I'm a part of, you know, to me, I'm part of Atlanta history as well. Not That's only right. with the information, but I feel as if I was a part of one of the top five crews. Come on now, in Atlanta history, going back um, to um, the late 2000s, uh, between 2009 and 2012 period, when you know, what I'm saying no line gang had yes, the city on lock. You know, what I'm saying? you know, what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. So uh, much love to my brothers there. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, man, they can find That's me on. Peace, big core. Yeah, facts. Yeah, facts. man, hey, man. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, man. Shout out BK, man. Rest that nigga peace, used to BK. be slamming niggas on their necks in Envy back in the day. And I was yo. like, this bitch crazy ass yeah, nigga man. slamming niggas on their neck for yo. no reason. Yo. I wish you was there that night when we was at the Pearl and they had that slap contest. Rest I, recall, peace, I saw know. that video. Yes. I saw yes. that video where he killed somebody yes. with a slap. With a slap. <laughs> with a slap. <laughs> I've never to this day I've yet seen anybody's body react to a slap. Come on, man. In that matter, man. Um, and shout out to Shanar Johnson. Rest in peace, Shanar Johnson as well. Yes, uh, sir. We've tied Rest in with him Shanar. as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, um, they can follow me on, you know, all social media platforms at Joke Boy So Say. Yes, sir. Um, the one and only. Uh, man, and like I said, man, I, I appreciate you for extending the invitation, man. To I'm come here, here for it, man. And I'm going to let y'all know now that I, now that I done did be high. <laughs> The prices went up. <laughs> <laughs> the price has went up. Yesterday's price <laughs> is not today's price. Hey, man, okay. it's so safe. Man, and uh, and I and also I want to shout out to all the legends that just embrace what yeah. I what I've been doing because it, it's not a it's not a with the new folks say clout. Even yeah. though we were saying that back in the day too. That's true. Um, it's not a clout thing, man. It's just genuine from the heart for me making these videos. These people don't reach out to me to do it. I just do it. You know, it's needed though. See, the whole thing is yeah. what people don't understand about the game and media in general is that mm. nobody gonna hand you the torch. Nobody. Right. You just gotta pick the bitch right. up and run with it. Right. And then before folks see you got a wave running right. with it, now everybody, nah, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait no. up, think about that. Yo, what are you doing? Yo, what about you need to be stopped? Yo, yo don't. No, I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not calling nobody out. Nothing like that. And I'm not <laughs> even saying. I'm not even saying I'm the original person to ever come up with. Oh, do old Atlanta content. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. However, I am the one that has put it together like nobody else. The SmackDown. You know what I'm saying? And and can convey it because like I said, I've always been a part of trying to convey messages. I, I don't have a problem talking on the mic. I don't have exactly. a problem talking to crowds. Yeah. Um, this, that, and the other. So uh, but now, if you notice, there's been an influx. Because it's working. Of oh, it's working. It's Come working. On. And more power to everybody. Exactly. I have no problem. I I repost it if I yeah. see it, man. I ain't got no problem with exactly. it. Exactly. But and that's what I love about it because now it's a conversation piece for real. Come on. A lot of people are talking about it. You know what I'm saying? And that's just it's giving us that feeling again. Come on. You know what I'm saying? The whole like, thing is we gotta keep you out in front of that conversation. Facts, Fuck it. facts, man. So that's why I appreciate I, that's why I appreciate this opportunity here, man, to come appreciate on. Appreciate you coming in you know this thing. Hey man, no problem, man. And yes, also, sir. oh, this was another one too, because uh, yeah. you asked me about my celebrity thing, man. Me and Ryan Cameron. Yeah. Ryan Cameron talked to me now like I'm one of his nephews. <laughs> <laughs> um, so big shout out to Ryan. Yeah. Um, you know, e eventually one day, because I've been trying to figure out what direction I want to go, man. I think I'm going to follow the Beehive Ryan Cameron yeah. road yeah. Um, and possibly get some things jumping off of that because I would love to do some things in media. Exactly. Um, you know, as well. Um, well I'm going to tell yeah. you, like I tell folks, uh, we're going to have a slick clash right quick. Yeah. Come Nigga, on, it man. ain't nothing to it it's but to boosting. do it. Yeah, now go ahead and yeah. get some of that boost over there. Yeah, you know, sir. it ain't nothing to it but to do it. All you do is pick up your mic and you start talking your shit. And see, in this digital age, when I was teaching over that club, I taught radio. And I was trying to get folks to understand that podcasting is radio. Right. But it's just not in the same traditional sense, but it's the same kind of media. Mm -hmm. And the way that media has gelled together, there's no such thing. You can't really fragment it into radio, television, and film yeah. when we got this right here. Right, right when you're watching you right radio, here. television, and film on your right phone. Here. So you can't say it's one thing no more. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, all you do is do you consistently. Yeah. And you ain't gonna have no trust but the Blazer Trail behind Fact. it. And I received that, man. I received that's it. That's what it is. You already did it, nigga. That. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, you know, it, yeah. I'm a humble nigga, man. Yeah, I'm with you. You know, so I'm always gonna be a humble nigga yeah. and I'm always gonna listen, man. So when you drop them jewels on me like that, that's gonna keep me going. I don't even, I'm ready to get fired up, figure out what I'm gonna do now. Yeah. Like, what's the next, what I'm gonna drop? Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Content wise, man. But like I said, man, I appreciate guys like yourself and the OGs Same just embracing thing. what I'm doing because they realize it ain't a gimmick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is real. It's real facts. Come on. Um, you know, and, and, and I'm just bringing up that feeling from people again of what we really like. And I think it's, it's putting a charge back into us, man, to get us back to where we where we want to be. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, once again, man, I appreciate you, man. And shout out to uh, shout out my team, Cinematic Minds. Uh, Y'all be on the lookout for us because we coming back with our podcast too, the Logical it's Bullshit time for that. podcast. Yeah, yeah. We got a couple of episodes on YouTube, but we had, okay. I got into a car accident, so Damn. we had stopped. So we're gonna pick that um, back 
um, going. Shout out Nita Beater and Cam. Yeah. Um, we coming back, man. And uh, oh, Big Bake Black was the one that actually put me on. What? Um, last last year's four four weekend. Yeah, yeah. I met him at the. Uh, what up, though, Bank? Yeah, what up, Bank? I, I met him at the uh, day they them put on the four four day weekend panel. And I met them down there, and Bank was the one that told me, hey, man, start podcasting. Exactly. And uh, I, I connected with somebody. We ended up getting a roadcaster and everything, exactly. four bikes, and we went, got Crazy. it going, man. So we're going to jump back on that. Uh, me and Lil C and Pretty Boy Tank are going to do an old Atlanta that's podcast. That's going to be hard. That's going to be hard. And that's the reason why I haven't did it on my own. A lot of people yeah. are like, well, why you haven't done it? Because I'm not going to do it without them two. Exactly. Ain't no if, ands, buts about it. I got to do that's it. That's family, them. though. Yeah, that's family. So, exactly. Uh, I even turned down doing a podcast with. With I ain't gonna say the name, but one of our old legendary um, entities because of that. I was Damn. like, I can't do it. Yeah, I got to do it with my family. Exactly. You know what I'm saying I ain't even about the money in that aspect. I exactly. got to do this it's with my family for the love, man. Yeah, for the love. Um, got to. So say, appreciate you coming man, through this thing, you, man. boss. Wish you nothing but the bro. best and much success. Tell you, thank you, man. No problem. Be high radio, shout it. Right. So say, holla at y'all in a Thanks, minute, man. man. We go. Oh, that letter certified already. <laughs>